Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another video. Today is the big one. We do our official championship predictions for the 21-22 season. I'm joined by Sophie. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm excited for this one. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. This is going to divide opinion amongst the fan bases out there, but let's get straight into it alphabetically with AFC Bournemouth. Now, Bournemouth are going to be a slightly different Bournemouth to what they were last year. Obviously, Scott Park has come in. Some of their transfers have been pretty interesting, and they will be one of the favourites once again to go back up. Obviously, they came down the season before last, and they were the only team out of those three to not go back up. Norwich and Watford went back up automatically. Bournemouth did finish in the playoffs, but obviously lost out to Brentford in the semi-finals. That was dramatic. This year, they get it right. I think Scott Parker is a decent manager. Some people criticise him. I think he'll make some good signings, and I think Bournemouth have got the potential to go back up. We saw some fantastic glimpses of them last season at their best, and I think Bournemouth finished second. I've also got them to finish top three. I've got them to finish third place. Mm. I think, yeah, they brought in a good manager. He's got some championship experience and he's also got a promotion under his belt so I think he's going to do the same for Bournemouth just through the playoffs I think yeah when we seen them last season coming up against our team Coventry mm. I thought they played some very very good oh. football they were very very convincing and I think they're a team that deserves to go back up into the Premier League so I think they're going to do it just through the playoffs so third place third place. Next up we go to Oakwell where it was our surprise package of last season Barnsley Football Club. Now this is, I said in a video before, one of the hardest teams to predict this season because you do associate them with a relegation battle in the Championship but last year they stunned everyone by finishing in the playoffs. Now this year, what do I make of it? I mean obviously Ismail's gone, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. They brought in Shop as the manager. They've got some good players still, but I don't think they will be as good as last year. I'm going to say right in the middle of the table, 13th place for Barnsley. Yeah, I've got mid-table again. I think they've got rid of some good players, like, well, let some good players go, like with Mowat going to West Brom, which they're championship rivals now. Mm. So I don't know if that was the best business. I don't know if they're going to bring in some good players and they're going to do it quite on that scale. So I think mid-table's not, that's not the worst Thing for Barnsley but comparing to last season that's going to be quite disappointing but I think overall they're going to have a good season but mid-table for May 12th. Okay next up is Birmingham City obviously with Lee Bowyer still in charge they've brought in some decent players over the last couple of weeks Chuck Zanike it's going to be interesting to see how he does in the championship he got quite a few goals for Charlton uh, obviously they've still got the big man Djukovic up top and they've still got a few of their decent players I think Birmingham City are just a, a stubborn team in the championship I don't think they will get relegated but in terms of pushing on I don't know what's going to happen Lee Bowyer does play very straightforward football so I'm going to say they finished 17th. They could finish higher, but I'm going to say 17th. Yeah, I agree there. I think he, Lee Bowyer, I thought he had a good season last season. Yeah. So I, I think they're one of the trickiest ones to predict for next yeah. season. I've kind of followed how it ended last season and I've got them to finish 18th. I think that could be higher, not so much lower for me. I don't think they're going to be in as much of a relegation battle as they were last season. But I think it's going to be lower end of the table. So 18th. 18th. Next up is Blackburn Rovers. Now a team that massively underachieved last year. And I'm going to say something controversial here. I think Blackburn have the potential to get promoted. But if they want to do it, they have to get rid of Mowbray. Now I think Mowbray is a decent yeah. manager. But we've seen with him at Blackburn what we've seen at Coventry. Mm -hmm. He brings in some decent players. He gets off to a good start to the season. And they just fade away. And it seems to be happening each year. And I think Blackburn... They could do so much better than this, but I'm putting them 15th. And I think it'll be interesting to see if Armstrong stays this summer, because if they lose Armstrong, they could be in a lot of trouble. See, I think he's going to stay, but I wouldn't blame him for leaving, to be honest, because he, he knows Mowbray now. He's, he's played under him for Coventry, he's played under him for Blackburn, and I think Blackburn fans as well, they must be getting a little bit frustrated with the manager, because it's so heartbreaking when you see them play in some good football, and then you just see them drop off. So any time you get your hopes up, you just know, here we go, it's going downhill. And I think they're going to finish 16th. I think it's going to be a bit of a disappointing season, because to be honest, that for Blackburn is disappointing. They should be finishing higher than that. And that's with, I'm predicting that with Armstrong. So if they lose him, I think it could be even lower. Yeah, Blackburn with a lot of potential, but 
Yeah, that would be disappointing for them. Next up then is Blackpool FC, obviously promoted to the Championship last year through the League One playoffs. I watched that game. They were fantastic in the playoffs, by the way. Six goals in the playoff semi-finals, and then they won 2-1 against Lincoln in the playoff final. And the momentum they had at the end of that season was fantastic. Blackpool are a club that are on the way up. They were obviously in League Two a couple of years ago, but they are on the way up. It's going to be a very hard season. We've seen it before. When a team comes up to the Championship from League One, it's always hard and out of all these clubs they finished technically the lowest in the football pyramid last year with them being in the League One playoffs. This is going to be very tricky but Blackpool will stay up just 21st place. Do you know I would like to see them stay up because yeah I was actually quite impressed with their season last season and I was hoping they'd go up and they actually won me some money back in them <laughs> so I like them for that but Unfortunately, I've got them to go back down. I've got them in 23rd, so not rock bottom. And I don't think they're going to have a bad season. I think they're going to have spells where they look like, oh, okay, they've got good quality. But I don't think at the moment, with the team they've got, it's enough to stay up. Oh, wow. Wow, interesting. Uh, next up is Bristol City. Now, this is another team to keep your eye on in terms of a relegation battle. They were very poor towards the end of last season. I think the club themselves, fantastic. It'd be great to see fans back in Ashton Gate because uh, Bristol City fans are fantastic. But uh, I'm a bit worried for Bristol City. I mean, the transfers, they've been okay. They've seen a good few players go. I mean, yeah, Liam Walsh has gone. Jamie Patterson is going. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where Bristol City finish next season. I'm going to say they go down 23rd place for Bristol City. They could easily prove me wrong, but I'm going to say they go down based on how bad they were towards the end of last season. Oh yeah, if they carry on that form, then they're down for me as well. But I think they're going to turn it around. Not massively. I've got them to finish 20th, so I do think they're going to have another fairly poor season for them anyway. And I think they're going to finish lower half of the table. Yeah, I'm just seeing a lot of players going out and I'm not seeing a great lot of quality coming in. So at the moment, it's looking like they're going to have a fairly poor season and finish 20th. But I don't know, there's still a couple of weeks left. If they get some good signings in and they can play well as a team, they might finish higher. But at the moment, 20th for me. 20th, interesting. Next up is Cardiff City. Now they had a... A very interesting season last year, a bit of a roller coaster journey. When Mick McCarthy came in, they got off to a fantastic start under him, but then it fizzled out, and in the end, I think they were just a few points away from the playoffs, finished around eighth or ninth. I think they're a real threat to get in the playoffs this year. I think they'll be in and amongst it. I'm going to say they finish eighth, but there's the potential for them to get in now. I'm, I'm not sure with Cardiff. I think they'll be up there and thereabouts. See, for me, I think they're going to have a really good season. I think they're going to finish fifth place. Ooh. So in the playoffs, I think they're going to get off to a good start and I think they're going to maintain that form. I think they've got one of the best strikers in the league in Kiefer Moore. And he's, he scored at the Euros. I know they mm. went out fairly early, Wales did, but I think he's shown... I mean, his head and ability is just insane, really. So I think he's going to carry them a fifth place finish. Fifth place, yeah. When you've got a goal scorer, there is no stopping you. Next up is our team, Coventry City. Now, it's going to be interesting. We're halfway through our transfer business. We've brought in Martin Waghorn, which is an interesting one. We've brought in Simon Moore. It'll be interesting to see if that keeper plays. And um, We've also brought in Ben Sheaf. It'll be interesting to see if he gets much game time. Um, not sure with Coventry City. I think one thing I'm feeling optimistic about is that Robbins is still at the club. Under Mark Robbins, we've got an upward trajectory. Obviously, we're back at the Rico. Uh, with fans there, it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to say Coventry City do a little bit better than last year. They finish 14th. It could go either way. I mean, we could surprise a few people and have a battle for the top half, but we could get sucked into the relegation battle as well. I've got them to finish 14th as well, actually. Um, I think, yeah, it's going to be, for me, a similar season to last season. We've brought in some quality players. I think Simon Moore is going to be our starting keeper, to be honest. Yeah. And if we can get Waghorn firing, we've got four good strikers that I think could do bits for us but I think we still need to make a couple more sign-ins we still need another left back to be honest we've got no left back with proper quality so I think we're gonna I don't think our business is done so no. we're, we're predicting 14th at the moment based on the current squad we've got we've not had many leave for no. fees so that's that's looking good we've got the same sort of squad same manager which is crucial and I think we're going to have a good season, so 14th for Coventry. 14th. Next up is Derby County. Now, this is the club that most people are writing off this year. Goodness me, mm. this has been a horrible summer for Derby fans. I really do feel for you guys. It's been nasty, hasn't it? 
Uh, obviously, they've had the financial problems. I don't think they're going down. I think that's pretty set in stone that they will be in the championship next year, but they could go down in the championship next year. They haven't really brought anyone in. They're under a transfer embargo. They've seen a few of their decent players go. I'm sorry, Derby fans. I'm going to have to say it. 24th. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to agree with you there. I think they've got, what, 13 first-team players on the book still, they're just losing players left, right and centre and good players as well and if they've got a transfer embargo then they're not going to be able to sign anyone decent, it'll just be loans so I think they're going to really struggle and to be honest Wayne Rooney, for me, he's got to go if you want to stay up in the championship, he's got to go so I think it's going to be a poor, poor season there's going to be glimpses where they look alright but I think you're going down this season, so 24th 24th. Next stop is a team who came down last year, Fulham Football Club. Now, I'm surprised they did come down because there was a part in the Premier League last season where I thought they were really going to stay up. Oh, they yeah. picked up some momentum mm -hmm. and they were fantastic at times in the Premier League last year. It's uh, going to be interesting though at Fulham. Obviously, they've had uh, a few changes, especially in the managerial department. Scott Parker has gone and Marco Silva has come in. Now, Marco Silva is a decent manager and I think with Fulham, he's got a club which he can really do things with. Fulham though, I don't know if they're going to show the consistency levels to make the top two. I think they will make the playoffs. I'm going to say fifth place for Fulham. It's going to be interesting to see if they can make the top two. See, I think they will. I've got them to finish second place. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, at the end of last season they played some very good football and I actually wanted them to stay up because of that. So I think they're going to go back up. I think they're going to almost dominate the championship to be honest. I'm calling it now and I think they're going to go straight back up second place. Second place. Next up then is Huddersfield Town. Now I did a video a couple of weeks ago with my early predictions for the championship and I said I think Huddersfield could get relegated because of how bad they were towards the end of last season. I think they finished with about 48, 49 points so they survived just but um, they have made some interesting signings over the last couple of weeks. They signed Jordan Rhodes, Matty Pearson, uh, Levy Colwell and I think Huddersfield are actually going to stay up. I think there will be a struggle again. I think last year was a real struggle but I think they will stay up. Um, 20th. Oh, so just. I think they're going to go down. They've made some good signings, but on a whole, I don't think they've had a bad team even last season. I think they've had some good players, but they still were flirting with the relegation zone. And I think this season, they're going to be in it. So for me, they're going to finish 22nd. Oh, 22nd. They're going down. Next up then is a newly promoted club, Hull City. Now, these were undoubtedly the best club in League One last year. I caught a couple of glimpses of them and they were fantastic. I'm really excited to see Hull City come up because obviously we haven't seen them as Coventry fans. We came up as they went down to League One. I think they'll finish the highest out of the newly promoted clubs. Hull City will finish 18th. So for me, I agree. I think they're going to stay up, but only just. I don't think it's going to be as convincing as you think and I've got them in 21st place. Ooh. I think some people are just expecting them to come up and have a good season, but I think they're going to shock us in a way that they're going to come up and just stay up. But we'll see. It could be a good season or it could be a relegation battle kind of season, mm. and I think it's going to be the latter. Mm, well, we are both predicting them to stay up still. Mm. Uh, next up is Luton Town. Now, Luton Town, absolutely fantastic last year. A really good team last year, just professional. Went about yeah. their business fantastically well. They picked up some fantastic results. The amount of 1-0 wins they got yeah. on the road was a madness. I think Luton Town will keep that momentum going into next season. They're another club that are on the rise. Remember, they were a non-league club five or six years ago and they're really picking up the momentum. And who knows, one year they could get back to the Premier League. I'm going to say they finish in the top half. Luton Town will finish 11th. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have them to finish mid-table. I think, like you said, yeah, they're very solid. They just seem to grind out results when they need yeah. them, don't they? As a whole, you wouldn't look at them and say, oh, that player's a star. But as a team, they play very well. So I think they're going to finish mid-table. Last season, I predicted them to go down. This season, I'm not mid-table, 13th. Next up is Millsborough Football Club now. They finished just outside the playoffs last year. The big man for them is Neil Warnock. We know what Neil Warnock brings to any club. Promotions, okay? How many promotions has he got in his CV? Loads. He's got the most promotions out of any manager to the Premier League. And... They're going to knock on the door. I think Middlesbrough will be interesting. They've had quite a bit of transfer business go on in the last couple of weeks. I think they finished seventh, which is just outside okay. the playoffs, but they could get in there. It's going to be close. I agree with you in a way that I think they're going to be in and around the playoff places for most of the season. However, I think at the end they're just going to drop off and they're going to finish tenth for me. And that pains me to say because I actually really like Neil Warnock as a manager. But oh, I can just see it. 
a mid-table finish for them. Next up then is Millwall Football Club. Now this is a club which mm, could go either way. Last uh, predictions video I did, I think I backed them to be in the bottom half, but I'll be nice to Millwall. I'll put them close to mid-table now. I'm going to say Millwall finished 12th. They are a club that have real potential of getting up. And how many seasons have they finished? Eighth or in the top half anyway. Mm -hmm. They've been a real threat to getting up. And I think they finished 12th. They've had a bit of interesting business go on. I just struggled to put Millwall anywhere, so I've gone in the middle. Yeah. No, I agree. It's I think the safe bet's always mid-table or upper half of mid-table, so that's what I've gone with, ninth place for Millwall. I think they're going to have an all right season. There may be times where they're in the playoff and then they just drop out for me, but I think as a whole it's going to be slightly in the upper end of the table, but an average season, ninth place. Ninth place. Next up, Nottingham Forest. Now, Nottingham Forest... It's been an interesting couple of seasons for them, hasn't it? Obviously, they finished seventh the year before last when they slipped out of the playoffs on the final day. And then the season uh, last year, they finished 17th. They had a bit of a struggle, but Chris Hewton did keep them up. I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest, with Forrest. They're another team which is really hard to predict. They've got a lot of potential. They are a massive club in this division, and I think they'll finish ninth. So they'll be in the top half. I think they could battle for the playoffs this year. So for me, I actually disagree. I think they're going to have another disappointing season. I've spoken to a couple of Nottingham Forest fans and they're not too keen on the owners and the manager. So I think they're predicting themselves, well, the ones I've spoke to, to have another rocky season. And I agree. I think it's going to be another disappointing one. So I've got them to finish 17th. I think Same they should. Year. Yeah, I think they should be finishing higher than that, a lot higher than that. But I think they're going to have another bit of a stinker. So... 17. Yeah, that's an interesting one, Forrest. If there's any Forest fans watching this, let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Next club is Peterborough United, the last of the three clubs that have been promoted. I like the business they've done. I really like it. They've brought in some decent players. Jack Marriott is a real standout for me. And they've got some good players. If they can hang on to Johnson, Clark, Harris, then they have got so many good players at that club. And do you know what? They could do really well in the Championship. Another club which you can't write off being relegated because they're a newly promoted club. But... I think they'll stay up and quite comfortably, 19th. I've gone with the exact same, 19th place. I think they're going to finish the highest out of the uh, newly promoted teams for me. I think they've got a good size budget for the championship to be able to compete and I think that's going to show and they're going to stay up. I think, yeah, they've already made some decent signings and if they can keep hold of their players, I think it's going to be a fairly convincing season and I think, yeah, they're going to stay up, so 19th place. Next up then is Preston North End. Now, this is a real wild card from me, but they're going down. 22nd place. I'm sorry, Preston fans. I really didn't know where to put you guys. I mean, you get some stick for that. Yeah, last year was a real <laughs> transition season for Preston. I think obviously Alex Neal went, mm. and McAvoy has been given the job. Now he could definitely do well. They did end the season really well, actually. Obviously, they picked up. I think it was four out of five of their final last games they won or they might have won in the last five it was a really good end to the season but did that paper over cracks maybe because there was a point in last season where they got sucked into the relegation battle a little bit i'm not sure with preston i'm saying they're going to get relegated but they could also finish in the top half so yeah. i don't know they're very very tricky i've actually placed them 15th so i think that's not the best season for them i think their fans will be hoping for a lot higher up the table but i <sighs> I said last season that I'm not I'm not too impressed with them. They did the double over us, so I, that should that should sway my thinking. But it hasn't really. I think as a whole, as a team, I've not been that impressed, and I think it's going to show this season. So fifteenth. Fifteenth. Next up is QPR Queens Park Rangers. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to say sixth place. QPR will have a good season next year. In 2021, they have been absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Last season. They were okay in the first half of the season. Then a rocket really went up them and Mark Warburton's team went flying towards the playoffs and just missed out in the end. I think they finished around ninth or 10th. But this year they make it. Sixth place. I think QPR have got a lot of potential. They've got Charlie Austin, obviously. And yeah, uh, yeah I think they'll do really well. I think if they get him firing, you could be right in them finishing the playoffs. But I've actually got them to finish just outside in eighth place. I think as a whole, they're a good team. I think last, uh, last season I actually underestimated them and I was pretty impressed and I think they're going to continue that so I think eighth place they're going to be in and around the playoff spaces for me but I don't think they're going to finish inside it so eighth next up is Reading Football Club now really strange team last year they were absolutely flying at the start of the season we all know what happened they fell away and slowly missed out on the playoffs finishing seventh place which is so frustrating for their fans I mean what a good season they had as well what a good start 
It's going to be interesting to see how they do next year now. I think it's going to be very hard to predict, really, because they could have another good season or they could drop off completely and carry off where they left off with a really bad start. I'm going to say they finish 10th. I think they'll be in the top half again next year. Yeah, so I've got them to finish mid-table, I think 11th, which I don't think is terrible. But I think, yeah, with the start they had last season, the fans were thinking, yeah, playoffs is a definite and it wasn't the case. They're still here. And I think this season it's not going to be the same and I think it's going to be steady. I don't think they're going to have a bad season, but for me I can't see them finishing higher than 11th. No. Next up is Sheffield United. We're going to Bramall Lane where this is an interesting one. They were obviously the worst team in the Premier League last year. Absolutely terrible. I don't know what happened to them. Really a bad case of second season syndrome in the Premier League. Chris Wilder went and when he did go initially I thought they're going to struggle in the Championship. But I thought to myself, they're still a good club. They've still got good players and they've brought in a decent manager. I think they will be good next year. They're going to pick up where they left off in the Championship last time and they're going to be really good in the Championship. I think they finished third, so they're going to battle for the automatics. See, for me, I'm going for this to be one of the shockers. I think a lot of people will have them either top two or definitely in the playoffs and for me, they're going to finish just outside. I've got them to finish seventh and I think purely because of how much negativity there was around the club last season, they played so poor, I think that's going to carry on into next season and unfortunately they're going to miss out on playoffs for me. Next up then is Stoke City. Now Stoke City, they're an interesting team. They've had some interesting movement in the transfer window. John Obi Mikel has gone, but I touched on in the last video that they signed Vrancic. He's a good mm -hmm. player. Stoke City are a strange team in the Championship. A lot of people always predict them to do well because they're a club with a lot of potential, but from what I saw last year against Coventry, they didn't really offer too much, no. but on their day they can be good. But I'm going to say they underperform next year. 16th. Wow, so I've got them to finish 10 places higher in 6th place. I think they're going to make the playoffs. And I think, yeah, they're going to shock a few people. I think, yeah, they've made a very good signing in Vrancic and I think he's going to help them push further up the table. And I think they're going to have a good season, so 6th place for me. Very interesting, that. The penultimate team is Swansea City. Now, Swansea City once again lost out in the playoffs last year. I think they'll make the playoffs again this year. Fourth place, but I'm going to say that they win the playoffs this year. I think they will do it this year. I mean, if they keep finishing in the top six, they can't keep missing out, surely. I think Swansea City are a fantastic club. They've got a really good fan base. And if they can hang on to key players like Jamal Lowe, I think they're going to be good next year. I think Swansea are always there and thereabouts. So fourth place for Swansea City. Yeah, to be honest, I think a safe bet is predicting them to finish in the playoffs. And I'm going to have Swansea to finish in fourth place. I don't think they're going to win the playoffs, though. I'm calling that now. I think they're going to have a good season. And like you said, they've got some good players. And the last club is West Bromwich Albion coming down from the Premier League. And we both haven't said who our first place is. So it is obviously West Bromwich Albion. They are just going to be too strong next year. If they can hang on to some really good players. And with Valerian Ismail, what a manager he was for Barnsley last year. He was just mm -hmm. fantastic. So for West Brom... I think they're going to be very strong. They're always there or thereabouts when they're in the championship. I think they go straight back up as champions. Yeah, I think they're going to be very, very dominant. Much like Norwich were last season, I think West Brom are going to be the same. And I think they're going to become a bit of a yo-yo club. I think they're going to be too good for the championship, not good enough for the Prem. And I think they're just going to dominate this season. So yeah, I've obviously got them to finish top. Got a very good manager, they've made some good signings, and I think that's going to show in their performances. So first place for me. So then guys, that wraps up today's video. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to drop it a like. Let's get up to 150 likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, guys. Let's get to 4K subscribers, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.